the way I approach life has been taught through swimming. If there's something not going your way, there's probably something you can do about it. But a cancer diagnosis, you can only control so much. That element of control lost was just, it was a lot to swallow. The beginning of winter in 2018, I kind of brushed up against myself. Most guys can attest that it usually hurts, but this hurt a little more than it should have. I realized that my testicle was swollen and hard. It wasn't normal. That's when I knew, I was like, I, I gotta go in. My um, ultrasound came back. We had a mass that was vascularized. That's the checkbox. You have testicular cancer. And we, you know, removed my testicle. I had just gotten married. We had just bought a house. Like, you know, this wasn't part of the plan. But there's going to be a lot of things in life you can control. And then there's gonna be things like this that you can't. A lot was going through my mind. Anxiety, it was sadness, it was fear. It wasn't hopelessness, but it was just this like powerlessness. You know, my job is to be healthy and this still happened. Fortunately for me, there was just a lot of people there that were really, really supportive. He had his bad days, but he had such a positive mindset throughout the entire process. He really tried to see the positive and control what he could. His optimism really impressed me, honestly, every day. Talking to doctors, talking to teammates who had gone through this, like he did so many things during his journey to control what he could and to make each step of the way better. There is this huge stigma around testicular cancer. Men, you know, have this direct correlation equivocating their masculinity to, you know, having, you know, grow a pair, right? Well, I don't have a pair anymore. Like, I only have one. I think that, you know, the way to break that down is to do exactly what we're doing right now in, in talking about it. I don't feel like any less of a man because I have one testicle. And because I did go see the doctor when I did, I did catch it early. My outcome was eventually going to be okay. And we had already put in a lot of work into getting to 2020. So there was no doubt that eventually after, whatever the treatment may be, I was gonna at least give it a try. I still like think that I can still improve. And there's so many people that come to me and just saying, man, it's cool that you're like able to show others that you can get back on it. Not let this alter or, or change what your dreams are. So hopefully they can take what I'm doing and be a little bit inspired by it too.